What's going on, guys? I'm Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Welcome back to another Warrior Wednesday where we discuss relevant topics designed to make you guys better warriors. So today we're going to be continuing with our <clears throat> talk about the Book of the Five Rings by Miyamoto Musashi. This dude was a Japanese swordsman and ronin samurai. So if you guys don't know what a ronin is, that's basically a masterless samurai, kind of like a mercenary. So he wrote the Book of the Five Rings, which is all about strategy. Within the Book of the Five Rings, there's a bunch of different books. He breaks it down by elements, actually. The water book, the fire book, the air book, the earth book. And the water book obviously is about strategy, but it's more so about fluidity. Hence the name water book. So he's got 10 precepts in this book. And the week before last, we were discussing thinking the right way, thinking like a warrior. This week, we're going to be discussing his quote, the way is through training. Now, obviously, this is a wide, wide topic. What does he mean the way is through training? Well, the way of everything is through training. In my personal opinion, the way of the warrior specifically is through training. Training what? Training your reflexes, training your mind, training strategy. Yes, all of it, everything. And through training our reflexes, we train our mind. Through training our mind, we train our spirit. Through training our spirit, we train our body. Through training our body, we thusly train our spirit. We train everything. But when we physically train the war arts, we transcend. We transcend everything. Hard physical training, my friends, is the way. Not only does it shape and sculpt our body, not only does it harden our body, it hardens our mind, it hardens our spirit. And especially when you're doing training like Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, you know, these are all what the samurai would have trained. Obviously, the samurai invented Jiu Jitsu. Yes, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is more focused on the ground. But when we train things like Judo, when we train things like Jiu Jitsu, even when we train Muay Thai, you know, we are pretty much directly following the lineage of unarmed samurai combat. And, you know, nowadays, training with swords, not so practical. I never carry a sword. It would be pretty badass, but, you know, I just don't find room for it in my daily life. But what do I do carry on my daily regimen, on my daily routine? A weapon, a pistol. And I always have a rifle in my truck as well. Um, this is the modern samurai sword. And for us Ronin, modern Ronin, masterless samurai, all of this applies to our daily life now, just like it did back then. You know, we're not hopefully likely to get into an altercation. What if we were, at least here in the U.S., we have our short sword or pistol by our side. So we have to have a regimen, a training routine, very much similar to the samurai. And if you don't and you're still carrying a weapon, you're wrong. Now, this isn't meant to be some type of video about, oh, you have to train all the time. This is this is an explanation about the way being through training. But when we train, we not only train our reactions, we not only train our physical body, but we also train our mind and our spirit. Through hard physical training, we force ourselves to learn to never give up. Never give up. You know, you're trapped in a bad position in jiu-jitsu or other fighting arts. And you 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 train yourself to never give up. And when you're doing a lot of hard physical sparring, this, my friends, is so valuable. Everything in life is going to seem easier after you were just thrown onto the mat and had to defend that rear naked choke. And you got out of it. And you were able to reverse it, turn around. Maybe you collar choke the other person, or if you're doing nogi, maybe you just smash them. <laughs> you know, in Muay Thai, if you're doing sparring and you're getting hit in the face and kicked in the body, everything else after that seems a lot easier. I I'll be honest with you. It's very, very, very good 
for you, for us warriors. And you know what? It also keeps us humble. I always, I was telling a girl the other night, I would be such an asshole if I didn't train this much. If I didn't go and fight for my life, personally, I train every night, but I know a lot of guys can't do that. If you don't get beat up every once in a while, you're going to start thinking that you're some kind of Superman. And that's not good for you. That's not good for anybody. You got to get humbled. And going on the mat will definitely humble you. The way is through training. You have to realize your place in the world. And fighting will tell you this exactly where you stand. It will tell you exactly how tough you are and are not. And it will also reflect. It reflects on what's going on internally. Sometimes you walk onto the mat, you're not thinking about anything, and you're on fire. You're well-rested, you're not thinking about anything, and you dominate. Sometimes you walk in there, and like you've got stuff on your mind, and you just don't fight well. Well, that's a reflection exactly of the turmoil that is or is not going on within you. But how do we quiet our mind? How do we quiet our mind? We quiet our mind through meditation. And guess what? Fighting is a moving meditation. Drilling these techniques is a meditation. When you're drilling techniques, and then also when you're sparring and fighting, you're not thinking about anything else. This is extremely healthy for us. Now, we don't need to necessarily sit there and um, um, you don't need to do that, although it's very healthy for you. But if you go and you practice your techniques, Whatever that looks like for you, it could look like Wing Chun. It could look like boxing. It could like look like jiu-jitsu. Whatever that form of unarmed combat that you practice is, is a moving meditation. The way is through training. Training will teach us not only how to defend ourselves, not only how to go on the offensive as well when necessary, but it teaches us so much more than this. It teaches us about relationships. It teaches us how to remain calm in a stressful situation. It teaches us to never give up. The lessons that we will learn from unarmed combative training are immense. And the lessons that we learn from armed combative training are also immense. It teaches us patience. You know, if you want to get a nice little grouping, from 15, 20, 25 feet away from a target with a little pistol, right? Look, I carry a compact pistol most days. I'm not I'm not sitting there carrying a freaking Glock 17, right? I'm not carrying a 1911. I'm not carrying a full size, right? So when I go and I train for extreme accuracy, I want a little grouping like this. I have to be very patient about that. It will teach you patience. It will teach you mindfulness. The kids these days, they got a saying. I was talking to um, my, anyway, I was talking to a girl and she's a, a younger girl in her 20s. And she's uh, she's telling me how they have a saying now, mindful and dem demure. I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Mindful and demure, dem demure. Basically, it means like patient and mindful. And I think it's, Mm, ironic ironic maybe is the word that kids are now using this word mindful this is an ancient warrior word we have to learn to be mindful our mind has to be full what does our mind have to be full of patience our mind has to be full of confidence patience humility this is the way of the warrior and we find this through training. We have to be patient in life. Trust me. In life, I get what I want. But I usually have to struggle my ass off and work my ass off for it. And I've learned over the years to be patient. And know that if I work hard enough, I will eventually get what it is that I want. In combat as well, we have to be patient. We have to wait for our enemy to make that mistake that we capitalize on. We find this through training. Warrior training, warrior practice of the martial 
arts, the war arts, will lead us to the path of success in war as in training, in life as in training. And this, my friends, is the meaning of the way is through training. Maybe you got something out of this. Don't be afraid to go check out our website, gutterfightingsecrets.com. And until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. If there's anything you'd like us to talk about, plop it in the comments below. Don't forget, leave us a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time, warriors. Cheers, man.